All right, guys, welcome back. I wanted to take a revisit at the 5.2.6 collector. I had someone on my live stream and had five star rank threes and a six star rank one of the uh, um, of uh, Civil Warrior here and had a white Magneto four star. So I said, okay, I'm to myself, I can't do it live, but let me just go ahead, see what I can do against the collector with uh, some four stars these days. With the White Magneto pre-fight, you can see uh, the tenacity. You don't have to worry about it. And that's probably one of the most annoying things against uh, when you get to this collector. Uh, Bane is super annoying. You can see there, if I don't time it right, you're taking a ton of damage. And especially with uh, without this White Magneto pre-fight, uh, he's basically just going to shrug off all your parries. Uh, and it's going to be rough. So here I just said, let's just throw everyone at him. Uh, I'm not expecting anywhere close to solos and I'm expecting to use a couple revives here, but let's just see what we can do. Cause even with the Bane, even if you don't have a strong champion, if you can consistently get off the parries, which the white Magneto pre-fight does, you can just parry one hit in theory, back off and just let the Bane damage tick away. Like there's no even reason necessarily to even uh, hit into him. Uh, here, I'm taking advantage of the heavies with uh, Civil Warrior. Uh, he had that healing that proc, so it had just worked out great because I got the heal block. But really, you don't have to do anything uh, special, even if you have a bunch of revives saved up. With this uh, White Magneto pre-fight, uh, you know, yeah, you're, it's gonna cost you a bunch of revives. If, um, if you're trying to go for 100%, but just to get through the collector once, if you have the white Magneto pre-fight on, then it's just a matter of timing up the, the Bane. You don't even really need to hit him much. You can literally just hit, parry, back off, back off, let the Bane damage tick him away. And right before the Bane goes in, line up another parry and get off another hit. Even here, I go in with a... Um, Black Panther um, Civil War, and again, the there's enough damage ticking away just from the Bane to put a little dent in him. So again, in here I'm just kind of doing a couple hits. Like yes, I'm gonna go throw a special here. I'm trying to get him down, obviously as fast as I can. Now early on, when his uh, specials are um, like are still blockable, then. Yeah, I, I hate his special one. Like, just tr don't try. I hate trying. Even if at any time I try to evade it, I'm going to get creamed. The special two after doing Abyss. So, yes, I'm a little bit more used to that one when it's, again, it has to be blockable. But, uh, yeah, the special one sucks. And at, later on, uh, you are just going to get stuck with uh, where you don't really want to push them to any specials because they're going to be unblockable below a certain point. I don't know if that's like... Um, 30% or 25%, you'll, we'll see a point here where his specials go completely uh, unblockable and then uh, you're just kind of screwed. But, so it is, again, this is, this is an annoying fight. It's definitely a roadblock for a lot of early players, and that's why I wasn't going to come in revisiting it here with, uh, you know, rank six, rank three six stars and 565 five stars. Here I went in with max four stars and one uh, rank one five star. Um, and you can see there, uh, I think that was unblockable at that point. So even here, I'm going to take <laughs> this crappy, uh, was it like a rank three there, I think? Uh, four star um, Magneto uh, here. And even he can, he also can use the um, pre fight. This whole team that this guy had that he mentioned are all hashtag hero champions Captain America, Domino, Black uh, Panther, Civil War, um, and Civil Warrior are all and even Magneto House of X, all hashtag heroes, they all benefit from the um, white Magneto pre-fight. And you can see, even though I think he even might go stun immune or debuff immune at one point, the entire fight against the Collector, you can continue to uh, parry him. Now here I do use one team revive, and then I think I only end up using one team revive and two... 20% uh, revives in the end on Captain America here. I went in and I, I think I butchered these first two fights again. Like uh, if I would have done better here, I might have even got him down with the one team revive. But I think I completely butchered this one right here. 
I get off one hit and then I think I mess up my uh, like third parry maybe. There we go. So I mess up my third parry. I'm down in a second. But if I uh, if I get that off, then that's fine. And I think the same thing happens with Domino. Then I get my composure back and we and we finish this one off. So again, same thing, you know. And that's going to happen. If you don't get the parry off, you're you're done in a second. But again. When you don't have the White Magneto pre-fight, you have to kind of take his hit on the block and blade, bait his heavy attack, and that means you're taking extra damage, and it's very frustrating, and it's not reliable at all. Like, you have to do something like that, where there I didn't get the parry right away, and he threw his heavy. But you can see, even here, with a 5-star rank 1 uh, Civil Warrior, all I gotta do is time up the Bane, and and I can tick him away with some uh, damage from just just from the bane. It doesn't even have to be the the damage that I'm doing. I'm barely doing anything. But uh, there, you see, I timed up the, the the bane again, and and it worked out nicely. There, I kind of again I mess up. I think I just throw everybody at him, and then I think I revive up and heal up uh, Captain America a couple times. Uh, I think two times. So one team revive and two single revives, and I took him down. And I'm sure that is a way cheaper than when I first did the uh, Collector back in the day. Uh, I remember being super frustrated with this fight uh, way back when, especially when, uh, without the current synergies and the current pre-fights uh, that you can potentially throw at this guy. And, uh, yeah, I would say, um, you know... As long as you can throw Magneto House of X on your team with a couple hashtag heroes or hashtag metal champions, then uh, you are having a great uh, time, or at least much better time than uh, if you would have. You've got a bunch of items and units saved up, you know, and the collector's been your roadblock. You throw uh, Magneto House of X on there, and he's going to, you know, you're, you're, you're doing great. So here, I think it took me of all of nine minutes one team revive, two single revives. You can see here I just threw two potions on uh, uh, Captain America. I'm doing this on my main account. I've got lots of uh, um, extra items that are just going to end up selling them. Like every few days I'm selling items because I'm not using them. So I might as well go back in, go in with some lower champs, use some items, and get some content out there. So hopefully this helps uh, anyone who's still... Um, working their way through the collector, but uh, just just uh, Magneto House of X, he is he is definitely the savior here. So you can see, even at ten percent, um, all I got to do here is uh, again, I'm just I'm just trying to time out the bane here. And again, it's an unblockable special one. I'm gonna get creamed by it, but you can see I already got him down to less than ten percent. I'm gonna re revive and heal up Captain America one more time. And we're going to finish him off. And uh, again, I couldn't believe how much easier it was to take him down with uh, the Magneto House of X pre-fight. I know I've said that like a hundred times, but if you got him, throw him on the team, hashtag heroes, hashtag medals, and get yourself past the collector. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today, and good luck. And uh, I hope this helps you out, you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.